I actually need to get you some of my new Chapter B collection scent. It's really nice. This is yeah, my can you? I will. It's lovely. Yeah, I want your ones. Let mine are just the basic. Yeah, like and these are really glass. big. Like, they're really like, and they're, can you see it's like ribbed? <laughs> Love it. It's actually called reeded glass. What is it? <laughs> I reeded should know. Reeded glass. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So sorry, I was just on my phone. My dress is Thursday. What? Tomorrow night oh. is the event. Friday. Yes. My dress hasn't come. No, Same. It's not come. <laughs> I mean, yours is a lot more important. <gasps> well, it's not. But it's just like I've ordered two dresses. She got an email saying they're bespoke made. We can make you one in time. We'll send it out Tuesday for next day delivery, Wednesday. I'm, oh, is it being handmade? I'm, I'm twitching at the curtain all day. <gasps> you need to make sure someone's at home all day today. Well, it's talking of dresses, dress. so I went to um, have my... Oh, I'm feeling a bit better. Probably should update, actually. Oh, good. Sorry, I should feeling a bit better. Yet. No, no, no. Yes. I just think, <laughs> yeah, because all of a sudden I'm like, ooh, I'm back. Um, yeah, yeah, feeling a bit better. So yesterday, like, in the morning, I still felt really dodged, but I thought, no, get in the shower and get out now. Like, you know, like, sometimes you can, like, dwell in it a yeah. bit much when you don't feel... I think feel mindset well, like, is huge when you're ill, like, to get Massively. Don't get me wrong, there was two days I could not get out of bed, but yeah. by yesterday I was like, no, get in the shower, get up, get ready. So I had to go into London for a dress fitting um, for Pride of Britain. Yeah. Um, so I had that done and then I was with Jeff, obviously our friend Jeff. Jeff styles me at a lot of events. So um, we, we had like an hour and we was like, should we have a little pop into Harrods, right? So um, we was like, yeah, yeah, okay. So we went, popped in there and... Um, so we're browsing, browsing. Oh, did you go to the gown know. section? No, 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 we didn't. We didn't. We just literally yeah. looked downstairs. But then I was so over it. I was like, this this is why I really don't like shopping. Like, no, but you know, Harrods is the worst one. Shop. Like, Harrods is, uh, you really have to have the effort to walk around there. Like, it's but so also, busy. You get lost. You don't know what you're doing. It took me 30 just... minutes to pay for something. Yeah, don't, don't even get me started on it. I haven't some, been there in it was a long like, time. Every, it, honestly, it drove me insane. But I just want to quickly tell you this story. I know we've, we've um, touched yeah. on um, shop assistants that work at luxury brands. Oh, right. oh, you text me saying fart. What's that about? Oh, I've got to tell you about that as well. That's another story. Is that something else? Sorry, I've got, right, okay. So that's it, something I, else. I was thinking, is this the that's fart something story? Else. Right, okay. No, no, no. Okay, this is on. just like another. This is basically just um, a, a dig, oh, a, 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 a shop assistant. A dig. So okay, yeah, a dig. It. So basically, like I think we, we touched on this before, and I think that this is very relatable, kind of like a pretty yeah. warm moment. Anyway, so uh, there was a really nice bag. I've had my eye on this bag for a while, so I thought, right, I, I actually don't know how much it is. So me and Jeff was looking at the bag, but we didn't. You know, yeah. like when it's all on the fancy shelves, you don't really want to touch it in case like an mm-hmm. alarm goes off or something. So we there was a lady who worked for this brand and uh we was like um oh was that jeff Wade, excuse me um sorry can i get a price on that bag please she looked it was like we was asking for her left arm right oh this she's so rude she Who like looked us up, right she looked us up and down she walked over she was like you know like when someone's really aggy like trying to <laughs> and bear in mind she wasn't doing anything right she was just yeah she was just standing just, yeah. around like we were just asking her for a price on the bag she looked in the bag she said the price and literally just walked off. And I was like, excuse me. Because I was like, oh, basically it was really quite small questions. versions. Yeah, yeah, so I had another question. I went, oh, is it? I went, do you have the bigger version in stock? No. Right. I, I looked at her. Right, I stared at her for a minute. You know, like when your blood's boiling, right? Cause I yeah, thought, because. Right, you clearly don't want my custom. like. But I just thought, how insanely rude. I felt like saying to her, have you been trained with yeah. customer, um, what would you call it? Like customer um, etiquette. What's, what's the word? Customer um, service. I don't know. Um, customer service. Customer yes, service. Customer like, service. But also, like you don't even you don't even need that. It's basic manners, isn't it? If someone's yeah, coming into a manners. shop, I'd be like, hi. Like, oh, what can I help you with? Oh, yeah, sure. Let me find out. But like, also, your job manners. is a sales. She's a saleswoman, right? So she should actually be yeah. standing there selling you the bag. Smell the no. bag. Let me get you the Smell other bag. Smell the bag. There's, other the bag. <laughs> There's a matching purse. Yeah. Put it on your shoulder. Come on, look in the mirror. Like, you're meant to be no. selling the bag. 
It was like Miserable. she was fuming. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, it, uh, but then I was so annoyed. I, I looked, me and Jeff looked at each other and we was like... This happened to you a little while ago when you went shopping with Greg. I just think you well, should probably stop going in these shops. I, well, <laughs> no, yeah. That, remember the scenario before when I went... Actually, yeah. same brand, same brand. So when I went in there before, I had the scenario, you know, like where they basically ID you to pay for the bag. And if you don't yeah, have your do passport now. on you, they turn yeah. you... you they, they, they let you walk out the shop, right? They do that everywhere now because they do it at the airport. When I went to Heathrow and I bought Sarah her birthday present, the Chanel earrings, I had to show all of my details and information, like literally give away my... airport? I think they wanted my birth certificate at one point. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) To give so much information. They probably wanted your fingerprint at the same time. I think so, Um, yeah. (laughs) But yeah, no, it just just a little rant really because it really actually aggravated me and I just thought I, I, I can... Uh, you know, like when you think like snobby um, shop assistants, it's one of my pet hates. Yeah. Snobby shop it assistants. Is rude. Very like, rude. But you know, why? like, they must get complaints because. Oh, absolutely. Like, the way this woman spoke to me. If somebody's going in to treat themselves and spend that much money on a on a bag or, a, or whatever, like. Should be an experience. The full <laughs> experience. Like we've said yeah. this before, the glass of champagne. They should get it all out for you. Roll out the red carpet. Like, it should be an experience, but... So, come on, I'm really interested to know about the fart. Right, fart. okay. So, let's tell our listeners, right. So, last week, um, I text Samantha saying, fart in nail shop. It was, like, really random, out of the blue. Basically, right, so... <laughs> so, this is so stupid. Right. Did you fart? So, no, no, no. So <laughs> me and so me and Greg are walking down the high street with Margot, like Shem, we're just walking around down to Shemfield yeah. and um, and we just had some lunch. Anyway, so we're walking along. I had to go to the nail shops, get my nails done. Anyway, so Greg, right, there was like a, like you know, like a nice like little coffee shop, like everyone's sitting outside on the Yeah um like on the tables. Anyway, Alfresco he yeah, Alfresco, he's done the loudest fart, like no like a real like Greg. Right, <laughs> but it's made, but there was a woman sitting there, and it's made the woman jump. Right, but you know, like no. I, I couldn't even turn around to look. Right, we're, yeah. we're on our way to the now. I couldn't even turn around to look. I was, I looked at him, but you know, like when you're in shock, like why did you just do that? <laughs> Poor lady sitting there, all the time. Sip, you know. As I said that to him, I went to him. You know, it's really funny. Mum said yeah, to me, he, he does. does that as well. And I just like oh, anyway, it, it gets it lifts. Oh, so it gets, it's but it's so it's so stupid, isn't it? Because so stupid. Like, I don't know what it is about a fart, but it does make you laugh. Like it just it's stupid anyway. It so really is. Gets worse. Trotting on down to the nail shop. Gets the nail shop. Go in there. You know what nail shops are like. The doors always open. It's like busy all yeah. glass windows at the front. Anyway, so I've gone and sat. Like I'm at the end table. He's like walking outside with Margot in the pram. He's walked over to the door. He's gone, Billy. Right, bear in mind this is a full nail shop, but it was really quiet in there. Right, he's turned round, <laughs> so he's bum. No. He's in the doorway, but his bum is in the nail yeah. shop <laughs> and done the same again. Right. What is he doing? <laughs> At this point, I I just thought I, I don't even know how I can call my husband. <laughs> no, you know when you're like I looked at the nail, the lady that was doing my nails looked at me, and to be fair, she went, <laughs> men are so stupid, like that, right? But what, and started laughing. What, no. what about, like, other people that might have recognised Greg? Exactly. It, you could have heard a pin drop in there. Like, no one laughed, no one said anything. I think everyone felt a bit awkward, to be honest. Yeah, everyone felt a bit violated. <laughs> but thank God... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Miley. <laughs> How like disgusting. And then the woman, thank God who was doing my nails, she did like she laughed and she went, Oh, men are so stupid sometimes. She said my husband does things like that as well. But you know, like when you just think, Oh my god, there's a time and a place. Ma'am, do you ever find it hard to get the kids to do educational activities when all they want to do is play? I know what you mean. I actually think Paul and Rosie learn better when they're enjoying themselves by their learning. Does that make sense? Yeah, completely. Like, for example, last night, Nellie and Arthur, they was out in the garden for ages playing, but they was playing this horsey game. I was watching them out the window, like, jumping over things, but I was thinking, (laughs) come on now, we need to get in, bedtime, do your reading, like, you know, especially now Arthur's in year two, everything steps up, like, he has to do a certain amount of reading per week. Something I found that works really well for us is the Tony Box by our podcast sponsor, Tony's. 
As our listeners probably know by now, the Tony Box is a musical story box that helps children develop their speech through songs and stories. You know how much Rosie loves Matilda? Well, she's learned so many new words from just listening to the Matilda story on her Tony Box. She's like your own little Matilda. (laughs) She is. So cute. Tony's have got loads of other classic stories too, like The Enchanted Wood, Paddington and The Gruffalo. So there's something for all kids of all ages. My kids absolutely love Paddington as well. It's their favourite. So do mine. Mine absolutely love it. And as a special treat for our listeners, you can get 10% off Tony boxes and Tony box bundles with the code Sam and Billy 10 That's 10% off on Tony boxes and Tony box bundles when you visit www.tonies.com and use the code Sam and Billy 10 Mum, we're on the podcast, by the way, so don't swear. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Hey. hey. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, that's no, been fine. I'm just with Lynn going up to see Mo, but I, I just wondered what dress you fall at the red and the beige one. Oh, Do you think the red or the beige think, for Mum? I've said the red. I've said the, the red. One. Billy thinks red. The red is lovely, Mum. I'm going to try and back on again. When Billy comes back, I've got with her this afternoon. Yeah, decide then. Send me pictures when you're together. Yeah, okay, I'm I gonna can go. see them in real life. Okay, love you. Bye. What are you wearing to Pride of Britain? I've asked so, you about five times and you haven't answered. I've me. got a stylist to pull, like, get me some outfits together, but he's coming tomorrow. He hasn't sent me one picture yet, so I have no idea what any of it Ooh, looks like. Any colours in mind? I, I said maybe red because I haven't worn. I actually haven't worn red on the red carpet in like Ooh, 10 lovely. years. I can't remember. It was like a long time ago. So I was thinking maybe red, but I don't know because I sent in some things that I like and he's getting something made for me and also bringing some options for backup. But he's coming tomorrow to London so I can try oh, things on. When you're in the hotel. When I'm at the hotel. So I'll know by tomorrow. But What time are you getting really there, fun. by the way? Well, I've got a meeting at 11, so I'm probably going to arrive okay, around 10-ish. Early. So I've got a meeting at 11 and then I probably can start getting ready at 1 because I want to be ready way before. Yeah, like, cool. So you want to just Obviously I won't have my dress on at 1. But no. just so I can well, like make sure the rooms and everything's, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Well, I done the Perfect. table plan the other night. We done the table plan. Oh, how, how was that? It was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It was. It's really easy for people that have just bought a table because it's just one name, mm. and then you put their name, Joe Blogs, whatever, and then ten people. But even, but, do you, but even um, the positioning of the tables in that room is quite hard, isn't it? Did I send to you? I sent it to you on the chat. I put your table next to us. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I'm really excited. It's gonna be such a great event. It's gonna be really good. So table, 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 table. Yeah. So I, we're there. The PRC table's there, sort of like in the middle. You're to the left of me, right of Brilliant. me rather, and then to the left of me, I've put Louise's table because she's gonna be up doing the auctioneering as well. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And then like there's gold sponsors. They've got tables up the front. Like, and then we have like volunteers and stuff. It's hard because the room is actually a really good layout. So everyone, you're not. It's not like you're at the back because then at the back is the bar. Like. I feel like it's good positioning any table, really. Of course, yeah. That was really hard. It was hard, like, the solo tickets, that was really hard trying to piece people together because some of the solo tickets, I didn't know who they were, and I was like, so you don't know their personalities and who they want to sit with, you know? That was quite hard. Yeah, of course. But Um, literally 75% of the people coming, I I knew, so (laughs) I was like, they can go there, they can go there. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Once you're there tomorrow, when you're ready... Yeah. You'll just be so excited for the event. It'll all come together. You watch. Yeah, I'm really excited. I booked a facial. We're going to be yeah. there early, so if you need any help Perfect. with anything, I've told well, Greg I... to leave his clippers at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was speaking to Louise Lister on the phone, and she was like, uh, "Just let me know, like on each table, someone that I can tease a little bit." I was like, "Oh yeah, we can do that." Oh, there's a few on our table she can tease for sure. Right. Okay. Perfect. Should we do a dilemma? I feel like we haven't done any dilemmas in a while. I'm planning a wedding in Greece and I'm due to try on wedding dresses, but I have no clue what I like or where to start. Any tips? When it's Sam's turn to look for dresses, what advice will Billy be giving to Sam? Oh, wedding dress shopping is so fun. Actually, when I was with Jeff yesterday in the shop where my dress is from, I tried on a wedding dress. Did you? 
Yeah, the designer. <laughs> How funny. I actually need, I need to send you the picture. It was like this beautiful dress that the designer he just made, Martin. Oh, and wow. um, he just made it and it was like fresh. He was like, please try it on. And I was like, it would be my pleasure. Anyway, so I put the dress on. Oh, my It gosh. was gorgeous. Yeah. It was so lovely. But um, sorry, back to the question. I honestly think, right, it's really good to have an idea like Pinterest, like obviously loads of Instagram pages. Like you can get inspo from so many places. But I think yeah. try on as many dresses as you want and mm. can. Because... You might surprise yourself with the shape, like the, yeah. you know, you might Style. put something on and th- that you think would never suit you, but actually you might feel comfortable in it. Like, I just think that is one of the most fun parts about getting married, trying on all the dresses, like all the build up. I feel like. I can't wait did. to do it with you. <laughs> I feel like you didn't try that many on. Like you did, no. but you sort of, you kind of knew what um, style yeah. you wanted to wear from the. I start, did, yeah. I, yeah, I just, I mean, it it just depends. I feel like I found my dress quite soon, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Like I'd, I did have a really Which clear a idea. Of what I, and also, I think because I was getting married on the beach, I knew I had to kind of go with a certain style. Like it wasn't... Yeah, that's true. You didn't give me, leave me too many options, if that makes sense. But um, I would just try on as many dresses as you can. It's so fun. Okay, so next dilemma. How do you know what school is the right one to pick? It's the first time for me and I'm stressed out. So oh, we that is really stressful. Yeah. We, for us as well, when we was choosing a school, we were moving to Surrey, so we had no idea about any of the schools. Like, it's not like we'd lived in the area and, you you know, you hear this, you hear that. We had to literally start from scratch because it was a whole new area. So Paul and I just booked appointments and viewed, like, seven schools, like, around yeah. the area that we wanted to be in, had a little look on like Ofsted and things like that. Um, but I really do think it's a gut instinct that you get. So we Completely. viewed all these schools and actually the last school we viewed was the school Paul and Rosie are at now. And as soon as we walked in, it was an instant yes. Like I can't explain it. It was just like... Yeah, you had a good a, feeling. And there was a couple of schools that were so beautiful, like immaculate. You know, the grades were through the roof and like it was lovely, but I just didn't get that feeling in in there like it it's exactly all the boxes but it just yeah didn't have, i didn't, didn't feel have right. that i don't know it's it's really funny because um the school that nelly and arthur go to i always um always had a, a feeling i wanted them to go to this particular school but obviously we still looked at lots of other schools in the area and as soon as i looked at the school they're at i was the same i had this feeling straight away yeah. when i walked in there it just felt like a lovely school and yeah. It is so right. It's like, I know it sounds quite a bizarre comparison, but you know, like when you walk into a house, when you're house buying, you get a feeling, don't you? Feeling. And and I think it's very similar with schools. And yeah, you know, Nelly and Arthur have been so happy at their school and I know Paul and Rosie have been really happy at their school. So I do think you have to go of your gut, don't you, a little bit? I also think that... um, What what they'd done was quite clever with when we was viewing the school. The, The pupils showed us around the school. Mm. So we had like a meeting yeah. with the head and stuff and then the pupils were showing us around, like, uh, like you know, the older ones and like we was asking them questions and that was really a good way of doing it because like they were giving their, their they're, live, they're in the school, you know, they're doing it. So it's like, that was quite interesting. And I always look at the children, like so when we went to the lower school part, obviously where Paul would have been joining in, in reception back then. I was like watching them more in the playground. You know, like when they're just like happy and laughing and playing. Yeah. And I just think that that's what I look for. Like is completely. You know, but you, you know, some parents don't. Some parents are more just go by the grades. Want, yeah, but that's not us. We're not those and parents. The said, <laughs> no. Yeah. I always. I'm just such a great believer of, with children at school. Like, obviously, you want to encourage them, and you know, you want them to thrive and do amazing. I just think ultimately, they have to be happy. Yeah, of course they do. As long as they're happy, that just means that I think that's everything. Yeah, as long as they're happy. I agree. I absolutely agree. Um, Okay, so should we do Ask Us Anything? Yeah. Okay, so you say that the kids like to watch old episodes of The Mummy Diaries, but would you ever let them watch any old TOWIE clips? (laughs) Um. Actually, mine have come across sometimes, like a couple of um, clips of us on TOWIE and – 
they've kind of like nearly just really laughs at it. But actually, I think some of the clips are fine, but obviously some of them I wouldn't want them to watch just because of like swearing and stuff. And like, yeah, it's just a little bit more of an older audience, isn't it? It's just a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, it's not their age group. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Towie's um, like, I'd say it's like, like 15 plus, isn't it? Yeah, because the conversations, the arguments, um, like, especially like, now, like the whole show is based around relationships and like our and kids arguments. are too young. <laughs> yeah, and arguing about those relationships. So our kids are probably too young to, it's not really, yeah. I, I, yeah, if, when they get older, if they want to watch, I don't think Paul would be interested, but I think they would <laughs> love to see my terrible outfits and makeup. Uh, yeah, they'd <laughs> love to see our amazing yeah. hairstyles and makeup. <laughs> Right, okay, next um, question. What's the difference between having a girl and a boy? I've just found out I'm having a little boy. I was so shocked because I've always seen myself with girls, but now I'm excited to be a boy mum. What is it like having boys? So, I mean, before Edward, I've got, I definitely have got two very different boys, like in a sense, like Paul, first boy, so it might be the same to you. So loving and calm and sensitive and like, you know, just mind you, I guess all children are different, but I do feel like boys are a lot. Would you say they're easier than girls? Because I think they are. <laughs> Some ways, yes. I, do you know? I think this all the time because I get asked this a lot. Oh, like, oh, is it easy having a boy or a girl? But it, I don't know. Like sometimes, Nelly, like when one, but it's like any of them. I think one on one, yeah. they're like the best company. You know, they're obviously like the older ones. Like they're so like. And chat to them about anything, like you know, you could do anything with them. But it's like they all have their moments, don't they? Like, yeah, Nelly this morning had the biggest performance in the house, like this morning. Yeah. Arthur's just sitting there, he's just happy, plods along, gets ready. Nelly, it's like the yeah. biggest drama. But then some days, like, he'll do things, and I'm like, oh, he's so yeah. like his way or the highway. Like, it's but I do know what you mean. I think boys are. A lot more easily pleased. Yeah, and also, like, with their mums, I do think Oh, that yeah, he's always like, attached. Yeah, Paul is, like, he's always like, mm. like he's always, he just like, always wants to know what I'm doing, where I'm going. Rosie yeah, literally same. could not give a damn. S- <laughs> She's same, like, same, same as Nelly. <laughs> same as Nelly. Nelly's exactly the same. Like, the girls, like, I feel like they're much, they're, like, very independent, like, happy yeah. like, doing their own thing. As long as they're happy, they're fine. The boys, yeah. like, exactly the same. Like, Arthur's like... So what time, so he's like, this morning he goes to me, so tomorrow morning when I say goodbye to you, I'm not going to see you, am I then, for the rest of the day? Because obviously he knows we've got the charity event. And it's like yeah. going over in his head, like he's think, overthinking it. And I'm like, yeah, but I'll see you like later or in the next morning, won't I? You know, like just yeah. trying to, it's like, yeah, the boys, yeah. Are, I think definitely like mummy's boys. <laughs> No, they are. But then, like, I, obviously, since having Edward, because I've got now, like, but they're very different personalities. Like, I feel like, I mean, Edward is a proper mummy's boy. He's very, at the moment, he's going through a tiny bit of a clingy stage with me. Mm. But um, Edward is a ball in a china shop. Like, honestly, that boy yeah, is so busy. Yeah, different personality to Paul. He's so busy, whereas Paul, at his age, would happily sit on the rug with his toys for hours. That is not Edward. So, yeah. Yeah, see, I think, toes I, I think... Edward. You, I think with Paul, that's like a very lucky scenario to be in with a boy because I didn't have that experience with Arthur. Arthur was more similar to Edward. And I yeah. think a lot of, not all mums, obviously like every every child is different, but I think a lot, the majority of mums with boys will probably go, oh yeah, my, my son's a boy in a china shop or loads yeah. of energy on the go. But boys, yeah. I think, can be a little bit more like running around, do, like, okay, it's hectic. But girls are more needy in the sense of yeah. like, no, what we're doing now, I want to do colouring in. I can be Before bang. this, yeah, before this I had to go and play mini brands with Rosie. Sorry, I had to. It sounds terrible, doesn't it? But I was like, I'm just going to do my podcast no, but... and we'll do it. But she was like, no, like I've said it all up. We need to do it now. And I was like, oh, gosh. Right was. now. Like, she's yeah. upstairs playing mini brands with the mini brand supermarket, which I quite enjoyed, actually. I quite like putting on the American accent yeah. sometimes. And like, so, you know, and it's, yeah, okay, let's so get a slushy. Because where I hear yeah, let's get a that, slash. I hear all that nonsense they watch. Like, it's really funny because I just, it's in my head. So when I do it, she laughs at me because I'm speaking how 
those yeah. people speak on the channels that she watches. On YouTube. Yeah, that's <laughs> really funny. And it, when we're um, out of it, she goes, can I get a slushy? I'm like, no. <laughs> so <laughs> it's really funny. No. No. It's a hard no, Rosie. If you just play with them. Yeah. No. Um, okay, no so. Uh, okay, next one. Uh, do you feel like your families are complete? I do, actually. Yeah, I, I, I do. I really do. I always say never say never because obviously you just don't ever want to be like, nope, absolutely not. Like, I'm not having any more. Yeah. But um, I actually did say to Greg the other day, this is quite funny, Greg looked at me like in sh- disbelief and shock. I was like, I think if I wasn't as busy working all the time, because I think that's yeah. where I found it very, you know, it's been challenging the juggle, isn't it? Like working yeah. in the family life, like with three, I mean, like having a baby, like a, you know, a baby. But I was like, I think if I didn't work as much and wasn't as busy with work, Maybe I would have another one. Greg was like, no, no. Like, yeah. I, I'd, I'd do it sooner rather than later. But then I thought about it. And actually, yeah, mm. I do. Like, Margot has definitely, like, completed us. Yeah. Paul, we're just talking about are our families complete? Would you have a fourth? <clears throat> <clears throat> Cleared the throat. No, right. no I'll never say never, but... I hate, I hate you said I never say never. Never say never. That's what Billy said. But Craig was like, have you lost your mind? When Billy was like, maybe we could have one. <laughs> At the moment, no. Yeah. I guess it's hard yeah. because when you're still young, because like what, you're 35, I'm 32, I feel like, you know, it, it could, you could easily. Absolutely. But three is very hard. But we, Paul and I were just saying this morning, we've just started to realise that Edward's calmed a little bit. You know, like he was going through that stage. He yeah. was really dangerous. He was literally putting everything <laughs> in his mouth. Oh, so, you know, yeah. He actually still does smash things. But the thing, the, the stuff in the mouth, I found quite nerve wracking. Like I couldn't oh, take my eyes really for a nerve-wracking. second. Margot does it now, right? She will find a crumb and I see her crawling towards something. I'm like, where are you going? And she's a going crumb. to pick I know, up the that's, crumb. That's Edward. He was picking floor. up like everything. But now I feel like we can chill a bit more now because you know, like the others have got Lego and other small toys and Rosie's mini brands. Um, mm. But it, I feel like we've turned a bit of a corner recently, and it's becoming a bit more. And then you start to think, well, I wonder if I could have another one. But I, I actually always wanted four kids. Um, yeah, you did I, always say four. Yeah, I think I'm done with three. Because yeah. I just think now it gets really enjoyable, you know, like when they become toddlers yeah. and, you know, he's on his second birthday, then it's like, wow, they're going to talk and I don't know. I don't know. We've obviously got a new little member to our family as well because Tony and Claudia had their baby. Yeah. And I was with them the weekend and I was he's actually a really good baby. So I was like holding him and smelling him and playing with him and I was just like, oh, yeah, like I didn't feel, I didn't feel like really broody. Like it was no. just, it was, it was more like a, you know, like the loving aunt, but I didn't it's think, oh, I need, have, I need yeah. another one right now. I just didn't feel like that no. because I guess where I'm still not getting full night's sleep as well. So I'm not like yeah. in that zone yet. Um, okay. So next question. What are your plans for Christmas this year? I don't know. I literally, I am like up in the air at the minute. So our housework starts in two weeks. Oh gosh. Yeah. So it's due to be done before Christmas. Um, we're actually got to move out of the house for a month as well because of, um, you know, dust and everything to be ripped out, no kitchen and stuff. So I really don't know. I would personally love to go away at Christmas because we haven't done it for a couple of years, but we haven't booked it yet. But I always say this. We, we, haven't, we never have anything booked until two days before You're we go. always last minute. I'm before. so last minute. So, yeah. And then if not, and the house is done, as they say, if it's on schedule, time, like on time, then maybe it will be nice to have it at home in our new yeah. decorated home. But I, so, yeah, I really don't know. But I want to start booking some things. Can we get some, like, Christmas things booked in? Yes, definitely. Like, Let's like, get some dates with and it's going to be kids. here. <laughs> I know. Before, yeah, with and without. I said to you last night, you and Mum, I put on the chat, I put it on there this morning, let's get one of our girls' nights in, like one of our girly Yeah, let's nights. do that. Something to look Christmas forward nights. to, isn't it? I actually, I actually don't mind a bit of like Christmas at home in the UK. Like, do you like the build-ups? I, I do yeah, know, it's, I just, do, it's just nice. I do love, I, I love all the build-up, everything, but 
I think we're hoping actually to go away this Christmas and New Year. Um, we yeah, nice. obviously we had Margot last year. We had a really lovely like I just had Margot, so I was like in that bubble, you know, like we just don't even know what's going yeah. on. And um, mm. we had a lovely quiet Christmas at Mum's, and obviously it was our first year in this house. But um, we yeah we're hoping to go away. So but we'll definitely do like a pre Christmas family thing here. So yeah. Um, nice. Oh yeah, I've got that date in the diary. So we're going to do like yeah. a little Christmas, aren't we? But also, I feel like um, you know what it is. Like a, I, I do, I love Christmas at home. Like I really do. Like I, I do love all the build up, like what you're saying, and everything else. But sometimes, like because I think that we tend to host it a lot, it is a lot, isn't it? Like we've got obviously mm. a really like big family, especially on Greg's side. And if you're having everyone, it is you do find yourself like. I don't know, like almost stressing a bit about it, and really, Christmas shouldn't be about that, should it? I just think Christmas is about no, kids and I everyone like... getting together. Like it is about, obviously, of course, everyone being together. But on the day, I just feel like it's I so about. Totally kids. agree. So I exciting. feel like Christmas it has become like such a stress and a pressure on families because you want to please mm. everyone, your in laws, yourself, you know, your kids, and I just think like can't it be simple can't you just do like Christmas day with your family and then just do boxing day like and I don't know like see the nans or I, I just find it so overwhelming and actually it should just be about the kids and eating a nice dinner do you know what I mean it's just it gets so much doesn't it and like yeah. you're saying for you it's different because you've got Greg's got a huge side to the family whereas with me that I don't have that so it's a yeah, lot smaller it's just because you want to see everyone and you want like you know lovely memories everything yeah um but yeah I do I do think like it is for me I just think like I being a kid and even now and obviously having children the build-up ma'am what was we like around Christmas when we was younger I know like it's the best thing in the world and I I just love that exciting oh it was brilliant but yeah, and like, I was just, really ill yeah. last Christmas as well. It was horrible yeah. like that for me. And it was Edward's first oh, Christmas. Not that, that. He, that not that he horrible. knows. He was poorly. I was in bits. It was the worst Christmas day for me deep down inside like that I'd had. Because I literally couldn't even make Christmas dinner. Like I was in bits. So like this Christmas, I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm like dosing myself up every day of all my remedies and potions. Because I'm like, I cannot let that happen again. Because that was just... No, Sad. actually, I ordered yes, that. Oh, did you? You should tell everyone about that potion, that liquid. I've ordered Which it. One? The one to keep away the colds, the elderberry, or the gut. Yes. Did you get the gut health, or did you get both? No, I just got the one you sent me that I took a photo of. Yeah, was it elderberry? Yeah, elderberry. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, make sure you you give that to the kids every day and yourself actually. It's for all what of a spoon for kids. Yeah, I just use one of those like pipette things and like squirt in. But yeah, like a tablespoon every single day, like big one. It's like <laughs> really good, <laughs> really good for. Oh, and you know what else I got recently? And they've just arrived because I had a humidifier. They called humidifier with a little puff of smoke. Yeah, um, yeah, and it smashed. And I was like, "What? why haven't I got my, my humidifiers out? And it's winter coming. So um, I bought three on Amazon. <laughs> on my right. Amazons. Because, because you can get stuff really cheap on there, you know. Like, it's actually, for what it is, just a humidifier. And have you heard of On Guard, the oil? The, no. Uh, uh, so it's actually quite hard to get at the minute. Um, you can get it on Amazon, on other websites, or if you've got a local health shop, look in there. Or maybe they might even sell it in a chemist. So it's called On Guard, and it's a, an essential oil. So put like six drops of that in your humidifier, and it's just like in your atmosphere, in your home, and it's really good for fighting germs and like all these colds and bugs. And it smells like Christmas. It's a oh. really good one. Oh, I need to be getting that now. So I've got three, two downstairs. It's going to be sold out on Amazon. Yeah, it's quite hard to find down. it. But no, yeah, it's that or eucalyptus. That's That also is very effective for like... But yeah, so I've got those going on at the house at the moment because I just feel like it's rife. Like kids are dropping like flies at school. Like the other day they had to like cancel one of the football matches because like half of our school's off with a sickness bug. Oh, I know, so, same as the kids' schools. Like it's yeah. like, it's so bad, isn't it? 
So that that ion, I-O-N, gut that I told you about, you can buy it in a big bottle, that doesn't taste of anything and you just put it in the kids' water or on a spoon. That is so good for gut health. It literally tastes of water. It's really good. Make sure you get that. Chimay as well. And ours. So that's all we have time for today. Um, yeah. Tomorrow, this is a big week, so tomorrow is the event. And I really hope my dress comes in time, guys. We shall let you know. Yeah. Mm. I hope it does too. I know. I'm sure it will. Let's see. Um, okay, so um, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait. Have a lovely day. And just so you don't forget, guys, you can listen to us ad-free on Amazon Music.